been a while since we made a Cool Tools video, but we really should make these more of a monthly thing because they're among the most popular videos we make for Stumpy Dub's Woodworking Journal. If you're new here, this video is sort of like show and tell from your grade school days, except we show you some of the useful stuff we use in our shops. If a sponsor's involved, we'll disclose it. Otherwise, we bought it ourselves. Either way, it's all about cool tools that make our shop time better. This time, we have a way to accurately set up any angle, another way to protect your hearing in style, a metalworking vise for woodworkers, a clever knife sharpener, and a $2 flashlight you'll want in every room. We'll be moving quickly, so if you want to learn more and check out some independent reviews, I'll leave links to all the tools in the notes below this video. Just click on Show More if you're on YouTube. Using those links helps us out a little bit, so thanks in advance. Now let's get started. I'm a big fan of Master Gauge. They're a small business that makes some very clever tools of extremely high quality. The Master Gauge Universal Angle Guide is no exception. It looks simple, but there's more to it than meets the eye. It can be used to set angles with a high level of accuracy because the angle markings are very easy to read and laid out for both acute and obtuse settings. The degrees are large and widely spaced for quick reference, but they get finer toward the outside of the scale so you can quickly find the nearest five degrees then move out to one degree increments, and if need be, to half degrees. Not only does the Universal Angle Guide make it easy to set known angles, it can do some calculations for you. Let's imagine that you want to make a segmented vessel or frame. There's a chart to calculate the angles based upon the number of sides you require, from 4 to 20. An 8-sided frame, for example, requires a 22 and a half degree angle. I can set my bevel gauge to the acute angle of 22 and a half degrees, but that's not really the angle I need to set my table saw up to for that cut. I actually need the blade tilted 22 and a half degrees from 90, which works out to the obtuse angle of 112 and a half degrees. Now I can do that math in my head, or I can just use the lower obtuse angle scale where I can find the 20 degree mark and then add the remaining two and a half degrees using the outer edge of the scale. Easy peasy. Not only is it useful for tasks where you know the angle you require, it can also be used with a bevel gauge to measure unknown angles right off the project parts. Maybe because you want to accurately duplicate a bevel or a miter, or because you want to measure and record an angle for future reference. There are also scales on the two outer edges for setting the height of router bits and saw blades, and the perfectly square edge may be used to check your saw blade's alignment too. The Universal Angle Guide is of exceptional quality, as I've come to expect from Master Gauge. It's made from a thick piece of aluminum with a black anodized brushed surface that eliminates glare, and the markings are precisely laser etched so they're easy to read and will stay crisp for a lifetime. If you like high quality tools made in the USA by a small family business, then you should definitely check this one out at the link in the notes below the video. If you watch past Cool Tool videos, then you already know how much I like the Isotunes Bluetooth earbuds. They're lightweight, they're comfortable to wear, and they combine OSHA compliant noise reduction with high quality headphones so my hearing's protected in the shop and I can listen to music or take phone calls. I usually listen to audiobooks and podcasts mostly, but if I do have to talk on the phone, they have this amazing little noise canceling microphone that blocks out background noise so the person on the other end of the call can hear you clearly. Anyway, I was always torn between the original model and the Pro model. I liked the Pro model because the battery lasted twice as long as the original, but I also preferred the way the original hung around my neck, the earbuds snapping together with little magnets when I wasn't using them. Well, I must not have been the only one who liked that feature, because recently they came out with another model they call Isotunes Extra. This version makes some significant improvements that make it my favorite of all the headphones they offer. First, the battery life is twice as long as the original model, eight hours of actual listening time. I can work all day without recharging. They also added what they call memory wire, which forms to the back of my neck and is really comfortable. The earbuds are magnetic, so they'll hang around my neck and snap together and nothing will slip off as I work. In fact, I can automatically answer calls or even start the music by pulling the magnets apart and slipping the buds in my ears, and the music call ends when I put them back together. As with all Isotunes headphones, they are dust and water resistant, and the sound quality is excellent. In fact, the extra model sounds even better than the regular model. The memory foam earbuds are very comfortable to wear, even over long periods of time. So if you've been thinking of getting some hearing protection for your shop, check them out at the link in the notes below. 
A while back we made a video about temporarily attaching a small machinist vise to your woodworking bench. Every woodworker needs a vise to hold metal objects like pieces of flat bar or T-track or even bolts you need to trim with a hacksaw. It's so useful that I thought you might want to know which vise I use. This one is made by Yoast. It's a small size, the jaw opens to four and a half inches, but that's just right for the sort of small metalworking tasks you might do in a woodworking shop. And I like the compact size for storing when I'm not using it. There's a little flat area on the back that can be used as an anvil, but I keep a small portable anvil in the shop too, so I don't use my vise for that. I like the Yoast version because it's rugged and tough, but also pretty affordable. And it'll work with some of the magnetic jaws that are out there. These are useful for holding pipe and rods or for when you need some padding, that sort of thing. I'll link to the vise and the jaws in the notes below the video so you can check them out for yourself. As a woodworker, I appreciate sharp tools and that includes tools I use outside the workshop, like knives. The Empower Fast Track Knife Sharpener caught my attention because it's very similar to a chisel sharpener we showed you on a previous episode of Cool Tools. The Fast Track Chisel Sharpener uses little swappable diamond plates of various grits, which the sharpener holds at a fixed angle. The new Fast Track Knife Sharpener holds the same diamond plates at an optimal angle for knives. It's really a remarkable design. There are two rare earth magnets embedded into the face to help you keep the knife flat against the tool as you pull the edge across the diamond plate inside. I find that a light touch is the key. Diamonds are extremely effective at removing steel, and you don't have to apply a lot of pressure. Just drag it through a few times on each side of the knife. Then finish the edge on the leather strap on the back. It comes with a 220 grit diamond plate, but you can swap it out for separately sold finer plates all the way up to 1000 grit. I do most of my sharpening with the 1000 grit plate. As long as I touch my knives up regularly, I don't need to use coarser grits. Fixed angle sharpeners are great for folks who don't sharpen every day, so they haven't developed the muscle memory needed to hold a proper angle freehand. But a lot of fixed angle sharpeners do more damage than good. A knife edge is very, very thin, microscopically thin in fact. When you drag that ultra thin edge through a V formed by a hard ceramic or carbide rod sharpener, you can easily wedge that edge down in there and actually tear that thin steel right at the edge. That's what makes the Empower Fast Track Sharpener so different. There's no V down inside to tear at the edge. Only one flat surface rubs against one side of the bevel at a time. It gives you all the benefits of sharpening by hand on a stone without having to hold the angle yourself. I think it is a really cool tool. Check it out in the notes below. Our cheap tool recommendation this time is a small LED flashlight. Years ago, I knew a guy who carried a mag light flashlight in a holster on his belt just in case he needed it. I thought it was stupid and expensive and it made him look like an idiot. Turns out I was the idiot because it's super handy to have a little flashlight within reach at all times. Now I'm not gonna wear one in a big black holster on my belt like a 90s cell phone, but nowadays you can get little LED flashlights that put out a lot of light. The batteries last forever and they're so inexpensive you can buy a dozen of them to have all over the shop, the house, your vehicles. I keep one in every bedroom in case the power goes out, one in the back of the toilet for reading in the dark. They're great. I think I got mine at Home Depot, but I've also found some on Amazon that get excellent reviews for about two bucks each. I'll link to them in the notes below. It doesn't matter to me which ones you get, I just think you'll be glad you had them laying around. That wraps up this edition of Cool Tools. Be sure to use the links in the notes below the video. That helps us out a little bit. For more great tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker, check out Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. You can read and subscribe for free at stumpynubs.com.